Howdy, my name is Marcus Hansen and I'm a third year material science and engineering undergraduate student at Texas A&M University. In this video, I'll show a short tutorial on using our precession electron diffraction strain mapping program. To start, we'll load the block file. This can take a few seconds depending on the size of the file. Once the file has been loaded, click on Start Analysis. Enter in the number of rows and columns of the data set you'd like to analyze. In this case, my data set has 50 rows and 50 columns. A new window will pop up with one of the diffraction patterns from the data set. Select the two points you'd like to analyze the distance between. Click the reset button to select new points or confirm to start the analysis of the selected points. Depending on the data set size and the computer running the script, the calculation time will vary. This data set took roughly two minutes while a similar 200 by 200 data set takes half an hour. There will be a progress bar displayed in the terminal which will show the current percentage and estimated time till completion. After analysis is complete, we can go to the main window and click create bar chart to help visualize the distance data. The data can also be exported to a CSV file for further analysis. Finally, we can create a strain heat map using the distance data and an entered reference distance. From the bar chart, we can see that our distance data is unimodal and a simple average of the distances should be sufficient. I'll enter the average distance of the data set and press enter. An interactive heat map will open to view in a browser tab. In the code, the default filtering method used is a Gaussian filter, but the user can adjust the filtering method by uncommenting the specified lines of code in the multiprocessing function and adjusting the variables, or adding their own filtering method. Feel free to reach out to me or Dr. Kelvin Chie for any further questions regarding the usage and functionality of this code.